Hey gorgeous, so I've had this idea on the back burner for a little while. Honestly, I've been meaning to buy more Irish cream, so I have more different ones to taste test. I want to try all of them and see if it's if it's worth getting the expensive like Baileys or if it's fine just getting the cheap stuff. Like I just want to know the difference for me so I know what to buy. Because Jake and I, we don't drink super often. We mostly get either really cheap wine, we get nice mead, which you know we enjoy from White Bear Meadery, or our go-to drink is Bailey's Hot Chocolate. It's definitely just our mainstay winter drink that we always go for. And we generally, I, we don't have it today, we usually get the Costco Irish cream because it's like a huge bottle and it lasts forever and it's like a decent price point. And if you didn't know this, you can just go into the Costco liquor store and buy liquor. Like, you don't have to have a membership to go into the liquor store specifically. You can go into the liquor store or you can go to the food court without being a member. Because Jake and I, there's just two of us. We don't need, like, a full membership. So, little life hack if you needed it. Anyway, so I don't have that one today, but I know what that tastes like. So I know if it's good or not. Well, I know I'm going to try all of them straight up. I haven't decided if I'm going to put them in hot chocolate yet. I'm just going to start. roughly the same color. It looks like the Baileys might be slightly darker, but that's hard, really hard to pick up. They all look very, very similar. Oh, actually, maybe the Kavanaugh one's the darkest. Also, the Kavanaugh one I noticed is the most watery of all of them. The least one is Carolyn's, but that might be unfair because this is, it's a big bottle. It's already been opened and it's been in our fridge, so that could also be why it seems the least watery. Yeah, I thought the Baileys would be th feel thicker, but it's very similar, all of them. Before I continue, just want to say, I don't know if you saw this hack, but Jake and I usually make our hot chocolate with water, and then we add a splash of milk to make it more creamy, so then we get a little less calories than if we did all milk. And also then we don't have to heat it on the stove, we can just boil water in our tea kettle and then just add milk. <laughs> it also cools it down because it's always too hot for me. So, let's get this started. So, I'm going to start with a Carolyn's. That one's a bit harsh. See, this is interesting. I'm used to putting these in hot chocolate only, so I'm not used to taste them one after the other. It definitely gives the Irish cream flavor, but it's a more, it's a stronger like alcohol taste than I expected. What's the proof on this? 17%. So Carolyn is 17% alcohol. Let me look at, I'm gonna do Sheila next. This one is 13.9%. So let's see if that one's a little smoother because it's a less percentage. Definitely smoother. There's an interesting aftertaste on that one. What is it? It tastes a little more like... This is why I'm not a food blogger person. <laughs> it doesn't taste smoky, but it does taste more like... What? This is grape wine with natural flavors and caramel color added. So this is a wine? Interesting. Are these are Irish creams all wines? Carolyn says made with fresh cream and honey. What are you made of? I don't say anything about wine. Sheila's made of wine? That's so weird. Maybe that's what I'm tasting then? Now that I've, now that I've noticed that, I'm like, oh, it does taste kind of like a sweet wine. <laughs> sweet wine with caramel colors. Maybe it's just fake. What about Bailey's? Does Bailey's say anything? All right, first off, this is also 17%, like with Carolyn's. Apologies if I butcher these names. I'm, I don't know how to enunciate properly. This says colored with caramel, but it doesn't say anything about what it's made of, like... The Sheelin one did. All right, so I'm gonna try the good old original Baileys. They're having so many flavors now. I need to try them all, but I also am like, I don't know, let's play. Oh, wow, Baileys is a very distinct taste. Jeez, all right, Carolyn's Irish cream. Sheelin, did you say Irish cream? It says country cream. So Sheelin might, not, it says product of Ireland though. So this might not be a legit Irish cream, but Baileys tastes nothing like the other Irish cream at all. It definitely, this one definitely tastes a lot, like the flavor is deeper, but yeah, the alcohol is still very much there. Let me try the Carolyn's again, compare. Yeah, wow, the Bailey's is the most harsh so far of all of them. And like, not, not in a way I particularly like. It's got more, it's definitely got a more powerful taste to it. But I prefer a more subtle Irish cream, so I don't really, I don't really like that. 
All right, and then this last one's Kavanaugh, which Kavanaugh and Sheelan I've never had before, so I have nothing. I don't know what to expect with these at all. Which now I'm curious because of the Sheelans. All right, so yeah, Sheelans was the lowest, and it was the wine one. All the other ones are 17%, with Sheelans only being 13.7. So I think these ones are all legit Irish creams, and the other one is not. Ooh, this one also says made with cream and milk, consumed within six months of opening. So this one seems. Like it might be a little more legit. So it's finish Irish cream imported. All right, I have high hopes for this one. Cheers. I think this this one might be the best. It tastes so it has the richness and the strong like punch of flavor like Bailey's, but more subtle, which is what I I like it's the whole thing. All right, so my tasting notes. Carolyn is like the basic. This is the one where anybody would like it. It's fine. If you make like a mudslide, if you make a Bailey's hot chocolate with it, like it's there to add the creaminess and the alcohol. And that's, it does what it's supposed to. Sheila, this is the sweet one. So if you're someone who likes sweet stuff, I do enjoy this. It just doesn't really taste like Irish cream. The Bailey's, you know, it's the, it's the, like the OG, like it's what everybody knows. And it's my least favorite. <laughs> it's definitely the most powerful flavor of all of them. You can taste, like the Carolyn's, you can taste the booze. It's harsher. And definitely these all taste different, which I'm surprised by. I I went into this thinking like, oh, they're all going to taste the same. What's the, what's the big deal? But yeah, and there's Kavanaugh, which is like the best of both worlds. It's more like luscious, cream flavored. Like you get more of the cream and less of... I really don't know what's in the Bailey's that makes it taste the way it does. All right, now this is the next test. Let's see if I can ladle some hot chocolate into these little tiny mugs. <laughs> And we'll see if that makes a difference. All right, so this is what I came up with. So my dear, sweet, like her set mug is still here. There's half, there's half full, but I decided to put everything in a little bit in this little guy so I can fill these all up. Hey, that's perfect. It's all gone. And the winner of this taste test gets to go in the mug of winning. Here's the Carolyn's. Yep, tastes good. Just made a creamy hot chocolate. I feel like, now I feel like they're all going to taste the same. The Sheelan, you can't taste, this is the wine little, little bugger, you can't taste it at all. It just tastes like regular hot chocolate. Alright, well, sorry, you're out. Bailey's a turn. Yeah, something about that Bailey's flavor. Now that I've tried a few other ones, I'm just like, yeah, this is not worth it. It's like, it's off-putting to me. Alright. Carolyn's is winning so far, but Kavanaugh was my favorite last round, so let's see how this goes. Who's gonna win? The old standby or the new favorite? Yeah, it's Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's the winner. Rating wise, if I had to rate these four Irish creams, Bailey's is last for me. I do not like Bailey's. Sheelan? I feel like I should make Sheelan last just because it's not a true Irish cream. But I can see people liking it, you know? And I don't think it's the worst. I like the sweetness of it. It's going to be third anyway. And then Carolyn's, good champ, right there. And then Kavanaugh is in first. And I feel like Costco brand would probably be, like, second place. But without having it here, it's hard to say. But it looks like Kavanaugh's going into El Muggo. And here's to a wonderful Saturday night. <laughs> I hope this was mildly entertaining. I had fun making it, so. <laughs> if you have other Irish creams that you think I should look out for, let me know. It's one of those things I try to find the little ones when I'm out places, but I just haven't been finding new ones recently, so. See you around, gorgeous. Hope you have a great night. To be fair to myself, I did just decide to do this after I downed a glass of wine, so. Mm. I don't know. These might be bad opinions, but they're my opinions. <laughs> So I just gotta stick with them, I suppose.